polynomial equations. Now here we have some equations which are kind of unique in terms of their solution. So that's why I've given a heading here, unique solution of polynomial equation. And this equation is unique in a way we will solve it, right? Now there could be other possible solutions, but here is one which utilizes substitution. So what I will do is, uh, I'll substitute some variable for these factors. So let me say, let y equals to x plus 1. If y is x plus 1, then what will be x minus 1? x minus 1 will be y minus 2, correct? So if y is x plus 1, then x minus 1 will be, you have to take away 2 from here to get x minus 1. So it would be y minus 2, is it okay? So that's how we can get x minus 1. Uh, what will be x plus 3? If x plus 1 is y, x plus 3 will be plus 2. So x plus 3, I can get by adding 2 to these, and so I get y plus 2 equals to x plus 3. Now this is a very important substitution since you can see we have difference of squares when you multiply the two factors and that is the reason why this substitution really works right so let me just write like this here so that i can show you what i'm doing there and then so what we will do now here we'll substitute y for x plus one y minus two for x minus one and y plus two for x plus three and in that case this equation becomes y plus 2, let me write here, so times y square times y minus 2 equals to 32. Okay? Now y plus 2 times y minus 2 is y square minus 2 square which is 4 correct? times y square let me bring 32 on this side so I write minus 32 equals to 0. Correct? Now if I open this bracket I get y to the power of 4 minus 4y square minus 32 equals to 0. Now see it becomes kind of a quadratic equation correct? where we can factor very easily by using product and sum. Correct? So we need two numbers whose product is let's say p and q are two numbers whose product is minus 32 and whose sum is that means p plus q is equals to minus 4 right so what are the two numbers minus 8 and plus 4 correct so if i have minus 8 and plus 4 if i add them i get minus 4 so i can factor this as y square minus 8 times y square plus 4 equals to 0. Correct? Now that gives me the solution. The solution is this factor is 0 when y is equals to plus minus square root of 8. And this factor will be 0 when y equals to square plus minus square root of minus 4. Correct? So those are our solutions. Of course, uh, this one is not a real solution, but in the set of, in the domain of complex numbers. So let's assume that we are finding x in the domain of complex numbers, right? In that case, we get this y is equals to plus minus 2i, right? I hope you remember that iota i is actually equal to square root of minus 1 in the complex numbers. And always you'll find that the complex roots are in conjugates plus and minus always right and here I can write this as plus and minus 8 could be written as 4 times 2 right you know 8 could be written as 4 times 2 right and square root of 4 is 2 so I can write this as 2 square root 2 therefore I can write this as 2 square root 2 plus and minus so that is the value of y correct now if I know what y is then I can find what x is, correct? Because y is x plus 1. So basically x is y minus 1. So, so the value of x is y minus 1. It is y minus 1. So possible solutions for us are 
plus minus 2. So, so that gives us x is equals to plus minus 2 square root 2 minus 1 or it is minus 1 plus minus 2i. So these are the possible solutions for our polynomial equation. I hope you appreciate the method. Please write down your comments and uh, let me know if there is something else which you need to understand in this kind of problem. But it's very interesting and therefore I thought it worthwhile to share with you. Remember here we got we are considering set of complex numbers and that 2i is there are two conjugate roots which are complex numbers and these ones are the real roots. Okay. Thank you.